the sound effect oh my god all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching the last of us now before we begin i want to show you guys something i remember that light i showed you in back in december on christmas well since i'm in a new space i gotta i figured out how to fit it in here and actually make it work so i'm gonna turn it on i played around with it for a little bit and it does look a lot different so let me know what you think boom doesn't this look way different now like the power of lighting dude is insane like when you have a good light and you you know it's actually crazy now i'm going to show you guys other ways i could set it set this light up to give it a very different look to it or whatever so like oh my look how bright that gets see it's so bright it washes out the led lights it's like oh my god look how bright that is like, i think i like it the most right here I feel like this is just enough. It enhances the image, but doesn't wash it out completely. So let me know what you guys think about this so far, or if I should play around with it a little bit more. So, but anyways, in the last episode of The Last of Us, it was basically just like a flashback for Ellie, more backstory on her. It was about her losing somebody for the first time, you know, and it's a very sad story for her, but it was her motivation to keep on saving Joel. Now, Loki, kind of a waste of an episode, to be honest. Like, it was a good episode. I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but <clears throat> that could have easily been like half the episode. And then the next half was her saving Joel and then, you know, whatever happens in this episode. I don't know, that's just me. That's just me though. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next episode. The last episode of The Last of Us will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Mm. When can we bury him? The ground is too cold to dig. We'll bury your father in the spring. R.I.P. her father. Hell on rations, maybe a week. Mm. Two at best. <laughs> Josiah and Martin think they spotted some deer the other night. James, I sense doubt in there. They haven't lost faith in you, David. They're just scared. Not from them. From you, from James. I still believe. Then, uh, the last six months have been hard. For all of us, but I need to know you're with me. Yeah. Okay, well. Now go get our guns. We're going hunting. Okay. Well. All right, well, something bigger is going on with them. Because, I mean, I feel like he would, this dude wouldn't be talking like that if it was just, like, to follow, like, religion. They have something bigger planned. I don't know. but I don't know what it is, but something. Those two guys. Those two guys are going hunting. James and the priest. They're going to find her, huh? Ooh. Imagine her face lined up in like yellow snow. <laughs> Imagine she like put her eye like up to the scope like that. <laughs> like that's such a beginner's mistake. Ooh. Yeah, don't yeah, they'll take off after you shoot them. But obviously she doesn't know that. She thought that shit would kill it. She thought it would kill it right away. Well, what do you think? Yep, they found Ellie's deer. Yeah, quickly. Whoever shot it's probably nearby. She's gonna be like, what the fuck? Don't! Drop your rifles! Now! Ten seconds. My name is David. We're from a larger group, women, children, and we're all very, very hungry. Well, even so, you can't drag this back on your own. Yeah. Some of the deer, we have, what do you need? We have boots. Medicine? Like for infections. Yeah, they might know how to help Joel. They seem like, I mean, they see, David and James seem like solid dudes, but you never know who you can trust. You never know. All right, go talk to Howard. He's got a case with some penicillin. Bring Bro, he could just go talk to Howard and bring him back like more people. Pull up an Ellie with like three other people now, you know, and then outnumber her. I feel like David's going to talk Ellie out of this. Like he's going to calm her down, you know, and they're going to talk and he seems like he's a good talker, so... That's your dad's gun? Yeah. You the one that's sick? Start a fire. Bring him with us. How fucking heavy that thing must be to try. Oh, but I honestly mean you no harm. Mm. There's room for you in our group. He want. seems like a trustworthy guy, but I don't think so. They chose to follow you. Is this mm. some weird cult thing? Uh. 
Well, you sort of kind of got me there. I am a preacher. Just pretty standard Bible stuff. I actually started believing after the world ended. Mm. Before that, I was a teacher. Knew people along the way until we ended up here. Hmm? Luck? No such thing as luck. No, I, I believe everything happens for a reason. And only three of them came back. And the one that didn't was a father. He had a daughter just like you. Mm, okay, the girl at the beginning. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy man. And get this. What should it be? What should it be, Joel? The man was traveling with a little girl. Oh, oh, fuck! It was Joel. You see? Oh shit! Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. And he knows. James, it. lower the gun. Fuck! I god damn it! Did you bring the medicine? Yeah, but throw I... it to her. Hmm. I know you're not with a group. You won't survive for long out there. I can protect you. Can't trust you now, fool. You know I killed Alec. You're I. So you're just gonna let her get away? Mm. Nah, he'll. He has a plan. He has a plan. Bro, she has no idea if that's actually medicine or not. For all she. Ah, uh, yeah. For all she knows, this could just be straight fucking insulin right now. <laughs> Like, she could be injecting him just straight insulin, and she would have no idea. Mm. Dude, this dude looks like Rick Grimes. What is it? Venison. If you've heard a rumor, yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. Mm. Won't be hard to find in the snow. We'll follow it to wherever they're hiding, and we'll bring that man to justice. Damn! You should kill him. You should kill both of them. Mm. Yeah, she... Oh, what the fuck, dude? That was... F... Bro. Okay, bro. She did not deserve that. That was so fucking uncalled for. I knew you were a fucking piece of shit. You were calm demeanor, but nah, you're a fucking piece of shit. I know you think you don't have a father anymore. But the truth is, Hannah, you will always have a father. Mm. And you will show him respect when he's speaking. Okay, bro. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look up who Alec was. Just so I have a picture like, in my head. Oh, this is the dude he killed at the university. Okay, well... Okay, those are just, I thought the, those were just like random raiders. I was like, it could have been them, because that's the most recent dude he killed. Bro, and she has like no actual food for the horse. Horse is gonna die. She realizing a group of them make make the birds fly away. Yep, there they are. Joel, wake up. Joel, Joel can't really you can't really move them. I'm gonna lead them away from you. But if mm. anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it. Joel. He'll try his best. <laughs> Do not fall asleep. You know how fucking hard it would be to not fall asleep. In that condition, like Jesus Christ. But Ellie's gonna try her best to lead them away, so. Yeah, yeah. Bro, they just shoot her horse and kill it. And I'd be, I'll be so mad, dude. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, they could easily just shoot the horse and then. Alive! Yeah, but they, they need her alive, but. <laughs> that was brutal. Do it. Mm. No, you're not. No, you're not. David's gonna stop. David. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two of you with me. Drag the horse. Oh, uh, they can eat the horse. The rest of you, stay here. Go door to door. No UPS. <laughs> and it's only a matter of time. They just check every single house. They'll find Joel eventually. Unless he mustered up the strength to get up in the hide or something, which I doubt, but like, I think Tommy's concerned about them. He's like, yeah, they, they haven't been back in a while. Yeah, should go look for them, maybe. <sighs> Fuck. Dead giveaway. Oh, Joel, come on, get up, get up. If Joel can somehow get up, he has to kill this dude with just one stop. If he has to, he, there's no way he's winning a fight. Oh, he got up. Fuck. 
All right, Joel, you got one stab to kill this guy. If you don't kill him in this one stab, he's beating you in a fight for sure. Ooh, oh, there we go. That was perfect. That was perfect. Got him like right here. <sighs> Bro, he should be dead, I feel like. Eh, maybe it takes a second. Damn, tough. All right, now I just gotta do that one more time with the other guy. <laughs> Why am I in a cage? Because I'm afraid of you. Did you hear me say the others wanna kill you? Yeah. I stopped them. Fuck you. <laughs> Shit. Hey, listen to me. Right, your friend. And how is he? I can see how much you care about him, so I know it hurts. But even so, you gotta face reality. That part of your life, it's ending. Dude, he talks like a fucking guidance counselor. <laughs> it's a beginning. But if you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. All right, yeah, Joel, now you just gotta get this guy. Timothy. Timothy dead. I just gotta set the same exact trap. I'll wait for the, oh, oh, shit. oh. Oh, there you go, Joel. Damn, okay, Joel's way better now, oh, shit. Where is she? It's like Batman. you next. I don't know any girl. Oh, oh. Uh, Jesus! Uh, he can't help you. You focus right here. Uh. <laughs> Fucking kneecap off. <laughs> She's alive. Where? Fuck! 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 Town! What town? Oh my god. It's not a real town name, it's a resort. A resort? Uh. Uh. And where your resort is, and it better be the exact same spot your buddy points to. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, just like you did with the couple two an an episode two episodes ago. Yeah, and I was like, "You better tell me the exact same thing your wife told me." And it was funny because he was like, "Did you lie to him?" <laughs> That's what the husband said. She was like, "No." Oh, oh! oh no! Jesus! Joel, you should you should have kept Joel. You should have kept him alive. Fuck! Did you do that? He told you what you wanted. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Cause now this guy has no incentive to tell you the truth. You motherfucker! Fuck. You're, like, you're gonna kill me anyway. I why do I? Why, shit. Yeah, exactly. Why do I tell you? You're gonna kill me. I believe him. No. Oh. <laughs> all right. Damn. All right. Joel's back, dude. Joel's back. Hmm. What? 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 What did she see? What did she see? Oh. For what it's worth, this is just dear meat, I swear. Yeah. You're gonna chop me up into little pieces. I'd rather not. But he probably will. If he will if he has to. Holy shit. I mean, shit. They're getting desperate for food, yeah. You wanna judge me? Judge you? It You're means... eating people, you sick fuck! You gotta do what you gotta do. Yes. <laughs> there are only a few of us that know. It was a last resort. You think it doesn't shame me? But what was I supposed to do? Let them starve? These Didn't he take another man's life to save yours? He was defending himself. He was defending you. I mean, they did kind of just attacked us. Like, they started it. <laughs> me. You remind me of me. You're a natural leader. You're smart. You'd stick me in a second. You have a violent heart. I've always had a violent heart. And I struggled with it for a long time. But cordyceps feeds and protects its children. And it secures its future with violence, if it must. Why are you telling me all of this? Because you can handle it. The way the others can't. They need God. They need heaven. They need... They need a father. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep. And all I want is an equal. I can tell the others to stop looking for him. Trust me, they already have. If he leaves us in peace, they will just let him go. <laughs> Think of what we could do together. As strong as we are. Nah, nah, We'd nah, We'd make nah. this place perfect. Not joining you. I would... You know, if I was Ellie, Ellie has to do the wise thing and just kind of agree with him. Be like, fine, I'll join you just to gain his trust. Don't try anything right away. Give it some time. And then you snake him as hard as you can. When the time is right, though. Not right away. Imagine the life we could build. Bro, is he in love with her, too? Or like... Oh, that 
pop they use is like this the sound effect oh my god the crack ah i feel like my fingers fucking broke i felt it in my Ellie. fucking hands ah. what who broke your fucking finger <laughs> how did you put it hmm tiny little pieces i'm gonna cut you up now god damn it ellie i mean i like that she did it but wrong timing terrible timing Oh, but Jules coming. The fours. <laughs> oh. Um, Jesus, these boys. Okay. Like, who grabbed people and then killed them? Like, you know? Oh. Or do they just wait till like one of them kind of dies and then they do it? Like if, so, yeah, and then if someone got like bit or whatever, and then they killed them and then eat, ate them, that would fuck them up because they're eating. You oh, had your chance. No, oh, not oh, 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 oh not shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should kill her anyway then. No, so are you. Oh fuck, that's right. Roll on my sleeve. Look at it. Oh fuck, dude. Look he's, at it. He should die. Ah! He should definitely kill her then, dude. Fuck you, David. Fuck you. Now she would have turned by now. This isn't real. Nah, I'm sp I'm different. I'm very different. Ah! Damn, Ellie, that was smooth. Good shit. Okay. Yeah, that's right. If she bites someone, she'll get them infected. So, if you, what well, if you just share like saliva? Like, if I were to drink something that she drank out of, or whatever, would that get me infected then? Ooh. Like she must have like shared shared something with Joel, like a drink or something. Like I don't, I don't know. No one infected fights this hard to stay alive. What's the secret? I'm just built different. Or are you just that fucking special? <laughs> yep. You don't know what I could have given you. I don't give a fuck what you could have given me. Neither one of us is dying today. You see, I've changed my mind. Oh, fuck. I was gonna say he knows that she's gonna, she's behind him, but she ducked that shit. She shucked it. Boom, got him. The fighting is the part I like the most. <laughs> There's no fear in love. Come on, come on, get him. Oh! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bro, this shot is crazy. Oh my gosh, she's still going. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. No! Get out of me! <laughs> yeah, she's like, how the fuck, probably. Look, that's me. Aww. Okay, baby girl. Oh. Yes, you love this heat. Now their dynamic has is peaked. She is his daughter now. All right. Well, that was episode eight. All right. What an interesting episode. What an interesting episode. So these two dudes, David and James, they found Ellie. And this was the girl they saw with the dude, other dude, aka Joel, who killed their, their friend Alec, right? No, okay. It's like, dude, Alec attacked Joel, first of all. They, the raiders attacked us, firstly. So it's like, we had to kill them because they were trying to kill us. So how are you going to be mad at us when we killed them? So it's like, whatever. But they took Ellie back to their little town they had going. And this dude david was he was eating people man he was there he was feeding his people other people freaking weirdo okay no that's why the meat in the very beginning looks so weird and like they called it a certain word i i don't know i wasn't familiar i'm not familiar with that word so i was like yeah whatever it's just a certain type of meat but i was like no that looks a little weird okay that that's why it's fucking people but like something about that just felt off you know i was just like yeah, i guess it's just meat like deer meat animal meat whatever but no nah, it was people <laughs> but i mean okay to be honest like i'm not in favor of eating people like i would never fucking do that if i like 
if I know I'm eating someone, I'm not going to want to eat it. But then again, when you're like that desperate for food, it's fuck, you know, and like you're in the snow, so you can't really grow crops or anything like that. It's just like, it's tough. It's tough. And then Joel found like three more bodies that were ready to be like cut up. And okay, are they eating people that just already have died at their camp? And they're just like, oh, well... Okay, we might as well eat them if they're just gonna die. So that was probably Alec, and one of them was probably Alec, you know. You know, or are they just, like, serially taking people and killing them and then fucking eating them? That'd be more fucked up, if anything. But if, like, they already died, then, like, shit, you might as well. But then if they get bit and infected, then you can't eat them because then you're just eating the infected, and then you're gonna turn, right? Wouldn't that work? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't that happen? I don't know. But yeah, this dude was trying so hard to get Ellie to like join him and everything. Like I guess he saw like potential in her, but I think he just like found her attractive and he was like, I want to make her like my girl or whatever, like my my queen to this town or some shit like that. But she and okay. I said she should take her, like, just trust this dude, like, gain this dude's trust, take her time, then snake him hella hard. But I guess in that moment right there, yeah, I, I just never thought of the fact that since she's infected, she could bite someone and get them infected, right? So, okay, well, makes sense why she did it then. And then they took her out, she killed James, and she got away from David, and then David chased her or whatever, she threw the torch at him and started burning down the building. She ran up behind him, but he knew, he knew she was behind him. And he swung, she shucked it, and she stabbed him right in the rib. And then he mounted her, and then she took the hackett machete, whatever, and then just pff, got him. And then she do. She went off on him though. Like that was probably like a, a solid minute of her just fucking cleaving him. That was great. That was great, honestly. I, she took a lot of anger out right there. I felt like. And then she ran out, and then Joel got her. So I'm happy to see each other. I'm happy to see them back together. You know, now that they can actually continue moving forward, they're probably going back with Tommy. That's what I would do. I'm going straight back to Tommy in his town. I'm not leaving for a fucking while. But then at the end right there, he said, it's okay, baby girl. You know, kind of like how he, like how he told Sarah. I'm pretty sure he called Sarah baby girl. I'm pretty sure he did. You know, when um, she was shot and he was holding her, I'm pretty sure it was like the same thing. So that shows us right there. Joel has reached a level of attachment for Ellie as if like he had for Sarah. Maybe not exactly, maybe not the exact amount. Like Sarah was his daughter. So like that's going to be very hard to match. But Ellie's there. Like she, this is basically his daughter now. You love to see the character development between them both. You love to see their dynamic evolve and get to where it is. I'm happy to see it now. Now, if one of them were to be taken away from us, that would be the, that would be insanely tragic. I doubt that happens because I'm pretty. There's a season two to the show. I don't. I don't think either of them are gonna die in the next episode. There's no way. And next episode is the last episode of season one, though. So, but yeah, that was The Last of Us season one, episode eight. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.